These women in Khartoum are selling hot tea to passers-by. They come from all over the country to sell the beverage so that they can afford to feed their families. Decades of drought, rural desertification and war has left many living in poverty. For some, though, this is their only income, fetching them about $15 a day. Circumstances forced us to work, and if it weren't for these circumstances, we would not have accepted to sit in the street from morning to night. We have no choice other than to do this job. It's a job where we earn by the day, depending on the work that day. Chatting to customers, the job is seemingly relaxed. But the women are constantly keeping a watchful eye for the police who arrest them. Did Addis. I came from Addis Ababa to Sudan to find work. There used to be no police raids and there were customers. There were lots of customers. But now every day there is a raid and there are no customers. Our families were devastated by the war and because of the lack of security. People came to Khartoum. Some of them worked day jobs and some of them immigrated because of the circumstances and because the country isn't what it was like before. I have two daughters and two sons. I support my mother and sisters because my father died. Even before he died, I used to help him because his circumstances were not good. I brought up my two sons, one of whom immigrated to work, and the other works here. I have a daughter in her second year at the Afhad University studying pharmacy. The harsh economic situation in Sudan, coupled with the high cost of living and increasing poverty, has led many families to rely on women to provide for them. Making tea is a job that requires no qualifications or experience. It's easy to set up, and despite the actions of the police, it's also legal. One of the worst violations against tea ladies is the police raids. It violates their humanity, profession and legal rights because no policeman has the right to arrest any person on the pretext of not paying police to the locality. This is the law in Sudan, but regrettably they are ignorant of their rights. And so as soon as any of them sees the police, they run away, not knowing that no one has the right to confiscate their equipment. Sometimes they will tell them they are not permitted to sit here. A recent survey by Sudan's Ministry of Social Welfare counted 15,000 vendors working in Khartoum. The conditions may be harsh, but at least some sort of employment is helping feed families that would otherwise starve because of lack of food. Robert Magela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.